Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video, and this time about Keyboard Maestro and a new little feature in its 8.2 upgrade that you might like. So definitely stick around and check it out. All right, so here we are in uh, Keyboard Maestro, and this particular video is probably most useful to people who are already using Keyboard Maestro, and you're probably already uh, familiar with this feature I'm gonna show you. Um, so, but even if you're not familiar with Keyboard Maestro, definitely uh, check out my other videos about the application, the automatic application, because it's like the, probably at the granddaddy of all uh, Mac automation applications for general users. So in the most, re kind of like the recent uh, upgrade of Mac uh, Keyboard Maestro 8.2, he um, added a, 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 a pal kind of an automatic palette and it's an application palette that works like the dock. And basically, you can see it over here. I parked it right here. And basically, it consists of all the open applications right here. Now, for me, I've so far, I've kept it on my desktop. I have a 27-inch iMac, and I've kept it on my desktop. And sometimes when I remember to use it, all I got to do is just kind of reach over and, you know, uh, click, uh, 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 you know, tap on a... Um, application to bring it to the forefront you can also in this you can right click um here well first off let me do that again here you can right click and say you right you know you right click on it and what i use is i just use a two finger tap actually and so then you have these other little kind of uh features here you can activate it you don't have to do the right click in order to activate it but you can do the activate you can activate without new, without opening up a new window in that application, which is pretty cool because I know sometimes when you open up text edit, you got to, you know, active and when it activates, it opens up a new uh, uh, document or asks you to do that. Um, you can activate and hide others, right? Um, you can activate and hide others without new. You can hide the application. Or you can quickly get uh, info, you open up the info palette of the application. You can reveal it in the finder um, and you can quit the application. And also you can select to exclude the application from this particular palette. So those are the things that you can do. And it's similar to um, another video I did about the Keyboard Maestro um, application switcher here, which is kind of similar there and you can, you know, you can click on something and you get some of the same controls and it has some controls that that, that one doesn't have like the quit and relaunch which I use a lot as well. So that's another thing you can do. So um, this this one though, you know, again, automatically, I'm not even sure there is a, a action for it. The way that you kind of um, control it or kind of deal with it is that you go into the keyboard maestro and you go into um preferences here okay and let's pull this over here and then it says um, applications palette and that palette opens up there and here you can do is you can change um the size of the icon so you see if i do that it changes it here and i think it opens up when it when it by default is pretty small so you can do that um, you can add uh, the text to it which i wouldn't do that it's too much um, you can do that. Um, you can um, also add the trigger. Well, there's no triggers in it. You, you only just click on the icons to do the triggers. You can also click here to shrink it, which means that if you shrink it, you go right here, and that'll open it up too. So if you wanted to keep it on your, on your desktop and you didn't want to have it always open, you can do that. I, I don't mind having it always open right now. It seems to me that it's not too much of a problem. And um, you can change the opacity, right? and uh, do that and you also can change um, the theme of it as well um, so you can do that in, um, here and if you if you change if you uh, get rid of the opacity here and then you change it you can do that or you can do change the opacity and keep it real light so it's up to you on that one which one did i have it on i think i had it on pink so the, the kind of the pink kind of flows in with my desktop uh, uh, background there so you know you can do that and that's how you pretty much control it um, you you know you can create some similar palettes um, in keyboard maestro and i'll be doing a video 
about that for my course on Keyboard Maestro, which I'm hoping to get out this this year, hopefully by this summer. But uh, you can you can create palettes in there. As you can see, I you have um, a palette here, which is the kind of the general palette for Keyboard Maestro, and you can create individual palettes. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this this might be something if you don't find it too obtrusive, um, you might find it useful. So hey, let me know if you found this video useful to you let me know if you are a keyboard maestro user and uh, if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up a like down below and also if you're not if you're new to, to this channel definitely subscribe to it because it lets me know that you're interested in this type of videos about Mac automation so thanks a lot for watching see you next time